One of the main reasons I like using Google Docs is to collaborate. This means I'm on the same Google Doc at the same time as others, or maybe we're asynchronously collaborating on the same Google Doc. And we might be planning something, so we have tasks that need to get done. So how do I know who's doing what task and whether or not it gets? So I started a new Google Doc. I'm thinking about planning for a conference. So me and the other teachers who are going to go to this conference together, we wanna to put all of the conference information together in one place. Now notice what it says right when I start a new Google Doc. It says type the at symbol to insert. And I'm really loving doing this feature. I'm gonna go ahead and add some elements that I need to plan this conference. And I'm gonna use this tip of adding the at symbol. I'm gonna type at drop, at drop. And you see when I start doing at drop, I don't have to finish the whole word. Drop down is gonna come up as an option. So I do at drop down. And then I can do project status. And it's gonna show that it's not started. So I'm gonna at drop down, project status, at drop down, project status. I can just add these all throughout the document. So now, when someone comes to join the document, they're gonna see that we have not started any of these. So here we are collaborating, and now we can change the status. So we're gonna register for the conference. It's in progress. I'm looking up information about that. I have not gotten approval yet, but I have asked. So that one's in progress. I've obviously already started researching flight press options, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that as completed, even though I haven't registered for the conference yet. And so you could just come in, select the little drop down, and change the status. And it makes it really easy to see a color coded where we are on each of the items within the Google Doc.